came back here to look at a, is that it? Oh wait, you know what? Yeah, no, 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 no. this one's a bill of silver. Yeah, it's silver, that's silver. They must have it hidden somewhere. Oh. I think all of them are clear. It's nice silver though. They got a bunch of black challengers, blue challengers, silver, all. Oh. From a distance, I couldn't even tell. Oh, you found it? Yep. It looks dirty. That's the color. That's not a Hellcat, though, is it? It's a scat pack, probably, right? Yeah, this is... Oh, uh, yeah, read the label. This is Destroyer Gray. Yeah, there it is. This is a six one. This one's a six? Yeah. But it had... Okay, it's so, yeah, color. this is the color. It just looks so dirty. Destroyer Gray. Destroyer Gray. Yeah, so yeah but see, that, and, that, and now you see, that's the reason I like that silver. When If my silver looked this dirty, it would still look clean. Yep. Yeah. Man, they got so many, but they're, they're trying to give these things away, man. They're, the they're, nice in my rooms. they're doing $600 a month leases. This is the mango. I like this color too, but this is really flashy for Manhattan. This is real flashy if you're in Manhattan or Brooklyn. It's like the cops are just following me, you're waiting for me to do something. No, I'm in Queens. Okay. But when I have to go to work, it's like the cops literally like follow me and they try to stay like three or four car lengths behind because mm -hmm. they know I'm going to do something. And <laughs> they're just waiting. How many set of tires you go through? On that Hellcat, only one thus far, but on this Jeep, that's the first one, too. Good so, Hellcat? Yeah. You like it? Oh, oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. You still have it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was thinking about trading up so I could get one with more options, because I didn't get a moonroof. Yeah? Yeah, no moonroof there. This, yeah, I, we were looking at this one. I have a Jeep SRT the same color. Yeah, I like this color. I don't like challenges like that, because I like four doors. Yeah. So I have a Charger. But, uh, yeah, that's that's a freaking nice. I have two complaints with the car. Two complaints? Because I had the R RT. Yeah. It was they should have made T roofs. T roofs? Yeah. T roofs. What's that? Not that old? Like the T tops? Yeah, T tops. T yeah. I think I kind of know what you're talking wow. about. Wow. It's like on the F bikes, like the Camaros and oh, Fiber. Can off here. You can take the other Is this off. a manual or auto? Standard. It's manual. Manual? It's a six beat. Standard. Yeah. yeah. Oh wow. Uh, and the back window doesn't come down. You know, one, problems that happen. one of my friends just bought one of these, and there is a problem. When you open it up, the window slides down, right? Yeah. And then when you close it, the window slides back up. But she had a problem with um, the motor. She did, she bought a used. She had a problem with the motor, and when she would close it, like, the window wouldn't, Go back up. it wouldn't adjust itself, you and know? So that could be a problem. Handles, that's 2012. Okay. I had to recall on the handles. If I had this color to match my Jeep, it would be crazy. But I'd, I'd only get a Charger though. If I could get a Charger this color, I'd consider it. I traded my Charger in for my Challenger. I traded my Challenger in for my Jeep. Yeah, this is, this is nice. It's that manual. I don't do manual, because the thing about it is it's too much work. When you're driving in the city and bumper to bumper traffic, it's just too much work. But uh, I want that track hawk. As soon as it comes out, I want it. Track the no, track off the Jeep with the Hellcat engine. Oh yeah. Yeah. And that's the um Jazz Blue. Yeah. Jazz Blue here. That's nice. And black. Yeah, they're damn near giving these things away, man. The problem is the insurance. It's like most people just can't deal with the insurance. The insurance is a car payment if you lease it. Yeah. This is what my truck would have looked like if I had gotten a 16 instead of getting a 15. It's not going to really matter because I'm trading up for a track hawk as soon as it becomes available. <coughs> Look at these wheels. I don't like these wheels. I've said it before and I'm going to keep saying it until I feel like I'm saying it. I don't like these wheels. While the track hawk that I did video at the New York International Auto Show had yellow Brembo calipers, which I also did not like, the problem is I want to keep my spider monkey design and I want to keep red calipers, which I don't know if you can custom do it, if you can like have it custom ordered, but if that's possible and you can have it custom ordered, I'll just give them a $2,000 deposit and I'll have it custom ordered so that I can get the colors I want and the uh, rims I want. So, oh, and one thing you'll notice is this rooftop is completely blacked. Like this spoiler is black. On my Jeep, it's body paint color. And you'll also notice that the edges are blacked. 
on mine it's chrome personally i actually like the black i like the black trim instead of the chrome trim i actually like the black so that's cool it says this one was a demo so you could save thousands if you buy the demo and this says that this is a 2016 65,695. This obviously also comes with the brand new H speed shifter because of Anton Yelchin's death. So after he died, they decided that they were going to change that up. Now, in the dealer used car lot, they also happen to have a model just like mine. Oh, they have a black, what is this, a charger? I think this is a, what is this, a Hellcat? Oh, it's not a Hellcat, this is a 392. It's a black charger. Yeah. And, and you know what? Most of the videos that I make about Jeeps do way better. And the reason why they do so much better is simply because more people are buying Jeeps. Oh, in fact, the guy's doing something with it right now. So they have a silver one just like mine, just like the one that I made the video of me buying here. And it looks like it has silver rims it looks like it's a 15. It looks exactly like mine. Yeah. So yeah, they're making those Jeep sales, boy. They sell those Jeeps. This is a 15? This one. Oh, this is a 14. Ah. Yeah, when the track hawk comes out, I'm gonna sell you one exactly like this. Yeah, looks good. Best, most comfortable car ever. I love that. Yeah, yeah, they got balloons and everything out here, but you ain't fooling nobody. <laughs> it's like, anybody who wants a car, who wants Mopar power, you better come on down. Challenger right there. See, it's the only downside is like once they change that front grill on these chargers, it's like it's like um, they're about to replace the entire Dodge Charger. And you know me, I don't get caught with old stuff. It's like I only got new stuff. And they're about to replace the entire challenge, the Charger and the Challenger design. They're gonna move it to a different platform. I think it's gonna. I don't know because I've heard them say stuff about it's gonna be on the Ghibli platform and this, that, and other. But they better not fuck it up and make that thing too small. Otherwise, they're going to cost themselves a lot of buyers. This is the um, scat that the manager, I believe, was driving. And he had dealer plates on it. And he cleaned it all up. Well, I'm very happy that they've replaced this stick shifter with something that's very straightforward and easy to use. I'm disappointed that they've debadged these things and now it just says Jeep on it doesn't say SRT. While meanwhile, you still get the SRT sticker up here and then you get the SRT on the chair. And uh, I'm really, I'm, I'm like very upset with this guy Kunikis or whatever the hell his name is. I don't know how to pronounce it and I don't care. And um, even on the, uh, on the, uh, what is it called? The um, back. It still says SRT right here. So why is it that you would take Jeep off of the steering wheel or take SRT off of the steering wheel and you put it everywhere else except there? That doesn't make sense. It's even on the wheels. And now what they're going to do is they're going to take it off entirely for the 18. A number of videos about the cost of SRT at Hellcat ownership. So as you can see, it actually says it right on the window, so there's no mistake. 71995. 649 per month, 2,495 down, 36 months, 10,000 miles per year. So this is what you get now. This is a 16. I'm not, a, actually this is the newest, the newest, newest, newest. It's got the wheels that I absolutely do not like. Some people say, oh yeah, they're great because they're, they weigh less. I don't give a shit. This is a 2017, I should say. They don't have any uh, 16s left. So it's all gray, moonroof, naturally. Everybody gets moonroof but me. And uh, red seat belts, that's a $300 option. And look at the seats. It actually says it right on the seats. I 
and take a picture of that. And then I also noticed that in addition to the seats, they also put it a badge. I'm like, you know, why wasn't Chrysler already putting that badge right there on the thing? They should have been doing that from the very beginning. In fact, that, that shit should be on everything. It should be on the wheels. You know? But uh, apparently their sticker department is in disarray. We got a Stormtrooper black and white 392 here. Now this 392, some of the uh, hoods that say Hemi on them have a 5.7 in there. And they've got those new wheels. Oh, looks like somebody's going to lose a phone here. Is that somebody's phone? Yeah. Oh, okay. What happened? It got ripped. Oh. Stop in the chair. Uh -oh. Come on. Careful. Yeah. Let me know if you need it. That's why I like yeah. videoing like this. Anything can happen. <laughs> Got this uh, Super B here. But anyway, so base price $39,995. As you can see, it has a motor. And the total price is $50,000. That's what one thing I, you gotta love about, sorry. One thing you gotta love about these things is that basically they're selling $30,000 cars with like 20 and 30 and 40 and $50,000 worth of shit. So basically a Hellcat is a $30,000 car plus $40,000 worth of stuff and the Demon is a $30,000 car plus $50,000 worth of stuff. Yep. Seats are heavily bolstered in here. And it's got that uh, suede leather mix. But I tell you, if you're in the market for one of these cars, you really should aim to get the Jeep. Because I tell you, the Jeep is really a better all-year-round vehicle. And it's so much more versatile. And if you need, like, light carriage ability for, you know, like, if you wanted a truck, but you don't want to also buy a truck, you want a 4x4, Jeep makes a lot of sense. I'm, you know, if this has a 392, this should also say SRT right here. I don't know why they're ripping SRT off of everything. They should keep it. That helps it look so much better. I understand that they want the corporate emblems in the steering wheel, but that Jeep Trackhawk has the Jeep thing right here. I'm gonna have it ripped off and I'm gonna change it with the SRT airbag. You know, it, it's a shame that I gotta do all that, but this guy Konikis, it's like, he, he needs to understand the reason why we buy a car like this. He needs to understand that. I'm sick and tired of this guy taking these goddamn labels off of the cars that I like. What's wrong with this guy? Konikis. It's like you get a, you get the track hawk badge, but you know you don't want to put the Hellcat badge on. And you got to tell everybody that you got the Hellcat engine, but you know you're not helping Kanikas. You're not helping. Man, not helping. Lots of manuals around here. All these goddamn manuals. It's like, this is New York City.
And and who the fuck would buy an Acura or a Lexus anything? When we got all this motherfucking American muscle just waiting to be purchased and leased and shit. Why would the fuck would you buy a foreign car? Why the fuck would you buy foreign? Why? All this American muscle out here. Keep those four cylinders. Keep them. I don't want them. Ever. Be on YouTube later. He knows. He already knows. Got the Hyundai Elantra right here. Oh, shit. Freaking traffic. 